Hello everybody, welcome back to Nature Calls. Anthony here, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question of how much does a Tesla solar roof weigh? Now, I've received a lot of questions saying, you know, how much does yours weigh? How much does it weigh per foot? Um, some people have even questioned if uh, it's going to do damage to the structural integrity of the roof. Now, I can answer most of these questions, and I have a whole list of the weight breakdowns uh, that I'm going to go through in this video, so stay tuned. So starting off, we need to really look at how a shingle roof is measured. And a shingle roof is measured by one square, and one square is a 10 foot by 10 foot square. And that one square consists of three bundles of shingles. Now, now that we know that there's three bundles of shingles to one square of a roof that measures 10 by 10 uh, feet, uh, we can look at the different types of shingles. There's mainly three different types of shingles. One, uh, your three tab shingle, which is what was on uh, my house behind me before installing the solar roof. Uh, those three tab shingles weigh between 50 and 80 pounds a uh, bag, uh, a bundle. So there's three bundles. So that's 150 to 240 pounds, and that's just one layer on your roof. If you have two layers, then you have to double that, so you're really close to 500 pounds if you already have two uh, shingle roofs on your roof. Now moving on to the next style of shingle is the architectural asphalt. Now that's going to be between 65 and 80 pounds per bundle. Again, we need three bundles to make uh, one square, one 10 by 10. So again, we're looking at um, 195 to 240 pounds. Or if you have, you know, two uh, architectural asphalt shingle roofs on your roof because you can stack them twice, uh, then you're again looking at almost 500 pounds. Uh, the last but certainly not least is your a uh, very traditional, but not so standard, uh, slate roof. Yes, you know, pieces of slate for your roof. Uh, those on the low side weigh 300 pounds per bundle. And again, you need three bundles. So that's a minimum of 900 pounds per square on your roof. That is a lot of weight. And from what I can tell from my research, uh, some of those go up to about 1,200 pounds per square on your roof. So that's, that's a lot of weight. But how does that actually add up against the Tesla solar roof? Well, we have to do some weighing and we have to do some measuring to find that out. So the first thing we had to figure out is how much does a Tesla solar tile or non-solar tile, how, just, how much does a Tesla glass tile weigh? Well, the PV tiles weigh about 23 pounds and they measure 45 by 17 inches with about a seven inch overhang. So they're more like 45 inches by 10 inches because there's overlap. Uh, the glass tiles weigh 13 pounds and again, they're 45 inches by 17 inches with about a seven inch overlap. As you can see behind me, all those tiles, they lay down on top of the next one and then they're just kind of butted up next to each other going long ways. We're going up and down, they actually lay right on top of each other. Uh, that way, you know, the water rolls off nicer uh, from the tiles. Now, we're calculating in all of that and we're calculating in the weight. So we have two different uh, weights here. One is going to be for an all PV tile roof and the other one's going to be for an all glass roof. And of course, you know, that's not the most realistic, but you can assume your weight's going to be somewhere in the middle. Uh, now my roof is a little more extreme. We have a lot more PV tiles than we do glass, uh, but you could figure at least a 50-50 split, maybe more of a 60-40 with 60% of your tiles actually being glass and the other 40% being PV and you know so on and so forth. It all depends on the layout of your roof but at least these numbers should give you an idea on how much weight is going to be sitting up there on your roof. So now we need to convert 
uh, the length and width of the Tesla panels into a square, just like uh, the regular shingle roofs. Now, it's 10 foot by 10 foot, so 120 inches, and we get about 2.66 panels across and about 12 panels uh, down to get your 10 by 10 uh, square. And with that, we can figure out how many panels approximately are in that 10 by 10 square. And that number is 32, yes, 32 panels uh, per 10 by 10 foot square. Now we can take those 32 panels and we can multiply them by the weight of the PV, which is the solar, and just the regular glass tiles and can find the weight for both of those. So the PV tiles come in at 734 points. 1.6 pounds per square. Um, the glass tiles come in at 414.96 pounds per square. Uh, so for PV, that's uh, about 73.216 pounds per square foot. For glass, that's 41.496 pounds per square foot. So pretty heavy. And uh, I was kind of really interesting to, uh, to figure that out. So in conclusion, your Tesla Solar tile roof like mine is going to be heavier than your standard uh, roof on average but it is going to be lighter than actually having a slate roof which in my mind means that well we should be in a pretty good spot in terms of like structural load because you know there was no reason why I couldn't put a slate roof on this house uh, it, it was offered <laughs> So it's, it's not like I should be concerned with uh, the structural integrity of it. Besides that, uh, you know, Tesla's installer team consists of people that have roofing experience. They're not just picking people off the street to install Tesla solar roofs here. Uh, these people have experience installing roofs. They have experience in carpentry and just roof layout. Like, they're not just hiring people that have no clue. And all of them were very confident that there was no issues. And if there are, then it's going to be on Tesla because they cleared it in the first place. But I personally am not worried. Um, I have all the confidence in this that it's going to be perfectly fine. So with that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it answered actually some of your questions about how heavy a Tesla solar roof is. It is pretty wild how much weight your roof can support. But it's also nice to know that Tesla isn't pushing the envelope with the weight. You are technically still lighter than a slate roof and not too much heavier than a standard roof, especially if you have two levels of shingles on your roof. Now, if you only have one, then yes, you're definitely lighter than the Tesla solar roof. But if you have two levels of shingles, you're pretty close to the weight of a Tesla solar roof on your roof. So there's really no uh, you know, loss or gain or really a worry about having problems if you already have had two shingle roofs on your house and besides having two shingle roofs on your house is a very common thing because most people don't want to pay for the teardown so you're allowed to have two before you have to tear those two off your roof so just a you know food for thought thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and as always have an excellent day